doing the tiptoe thing? No. Saturday the 6th of April. The thing about Ireland is that it's always raining. Always. Always. Always, always raining. Always. Today's video is a bonus video and it might be a little bit more... Like, like even more light-hearted than the others because we're in a silly mood. We don't have to ride all the tram stops, but just for the sake I of mean, it. I mean, we kind of do. We're going to ride <laughs> all the tram stops. We're at the end of the red line, at the point, and we're just going to get the, the tram, tram, tram. First, let's start at the beginning. What's it called, Jeff? The Lewis. Lewis. The Lewis means speed. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's do it then. Do you want the credits? Uh, go on then. Paddy, what do you like about the tram? I don't know, it's just dead fast, isn't it? It's cheap. Cheap and cheerful you like, like myself. And Lewis, <laughs> Lewis is the Irish... Yeah, that's like the main... We're like in Dublin, and it, like it's the Lewis. Like, no, you don't get it anywhere else other than Dublin. No one calls it the tram, they call it the Lewis. Yeah, yeah it's the Lewis, nothing else. Okay, really quick, plug your Instagram page, because you're um, a singer. Paddy Dewan Music. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, <laughs> We're on the tram. Super quick fact, there are two lines, red and green. They both opened in 2004. They're on Vicky, how many stations? That's right, 67. And we're gonna ride all 67 stops. First, we'll do the red line, and then we'll come back into town and change, and we'll do the green line. I'm excited to see the city. I think this will be a great way to see lots of different sites. Well, the trams also go out into the suburbs, that's the whole point. It goes quite a way out. Okay. But it's like the Croydon tram link. Yes, it serves Croydon, then it goes way out to Wimbledon, and way out down to, like, Addiscombe and, and Elmer's and Beckenham, so, tramage. Also, We've got tram t-shirts on, <laughs> because we just have. Vicky. Yes. Time for a maquette update. Have you learned what all the buildings are in the maquette? No, I need to discover this. I need to find out. So we've got like key Dublin locations. I think one of them must be the university. Maybe we can ask some people and see if they know. You are the maquette expert, so. Oh, thanks very much. We're at museum, one before Houston, the tram is really busy because it's Saturday afternoon, shopping time, we're in the city centre. The red line goes to Houston, which is how you connect between Connolly and Houston, the two main railway stations in Dublin. I do believe we're on a section of tram now that is an old railway alignment. There'll be people in the comments telling me this as we pull into Black Horse. I said that at the same time. Hey, isn't there a tram stop in Croydon called Black Horse Lane? I love it. Um, I'm using a leap card. Now, we discussed this when on the dart the other day. Uh, we've since been in touch with Transport for Ireland, and they've said, hey, it's not just uh, in Dublin you can use it, and indeed, we found that you can use these uh, on the buses in Galway and down in Cork, even. We were using our leap cards, but um, as a complete surprise, and I didn't know this, and it was unplanned, my friend Matt turned up today, who some of you will know from some of our other videos. You're in Dublin! I am in Dublin. Thanks for coming. That's no problem. Now Matt, but you've got something else. You bought something called a Leap Visitor card, and it cost you 10 euro. 10 euros for the day. You can only get these in a few, in a few in limited places. Five places and a three only places for in the airport. airport. But the best bit is that, tier five, you should this map this is by far the best map I've seen because it's like an underground map of the tram system and the Dublin sort of commuter commuter network. Matt, can I have can you I can have, have my copy that I picked up on the, the bus? Can you can you pick up another one in the airport the way you have done it? Matt has literally flown in this morning and then he's going back this evening. How are you enjoying the tram, Matt? I am enjoying the tram. It's a pleasant uh, journey out through the suburbs and the city. Indeed, isn't it? All right. Uh, Good map. TFI, if you're watching, put this map up at some of the tram stops. Thanks, mate.
So we made it to Saget, end of one branch of the red line. The tram has crossed over. It will now come back in. And this, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> Do you remember the time we were in Edinburgh and I sort of put, I put, I put my arm out? I went, and over here, you and I. You punched me in the face. <laughs> no, whack Vicky yeah. right in the face. No, you say whack as if like it was a little tap. You punched me in the face. And you didn't talk to me for an hour. <laughs> it really hurt. Sorry about that. <laughs> How's your tram, tram, tram? I like it. Is it fun, fun, fun? It is. Yeah. I nearly made my intent clear. I think it was stopping anyway. Let's get on. So an interesting anomaly of the leap card system is that you have to tag in, but then, unlike the Croydon trams, you have to tag out. Did that some tag out? Yes, because we haven't tagged out. The point is, Unlike buses and trams in London, you have to tap in and tap out. End of the green line, not as many people. We've come over a massive motorway. We're really, really far out into the suburbs now. We're at Bright Glen and it's got quite quiet, so here's a perfect opportunity for a maquette moment. Um, we put an Instagram out to say, can anyone identify all the buildings in the maquette? Everyone has come back with something slightly different, which is interesting, but there seems to be a bit of a consensus that they have the general post office, four courts, customs house, some of you are saying Christchurch Cathedral and the Haypenny Bridge. Um, some of you are also saying St Patrick's as well. Either way, it's a great maquette. Looking at the map, still on the green line, we're back in the centre of the heart of the city of Dublin. It's taken longer than I thought it would, but rather than that be a criticism, what that shows to me is that the green line goes quite a far way out, which I think is good because it connects up a lot of the, I want to say like the deep south, <laughs> which is, sounds like being in America, in the deep south, but it's just taken longer to get back in Dublin. It's eight o'clock and it's actually starting to get dark. And we started this at three. So it's taken four or five hours to get around all the tram stops. What time is it? But we are going to do all the tram stops. Tick them all. Yeah. Tram destination, Parnell. We've gone around the loop, around Parnell, crossed over at Dawson. Ten minutes until the Brimbridge train, and then we can, then we can finish. <laughs> We were on the wrong side the other day for one of the uh, intros or outros. I can confirm that with tea breaks, it takes around five to six hours to do all 67 trans stops. But we did it! <laughs> we're now in Bro Broombridge. As a bonus, we're tired. tired. Broombridge, the area has been brought up magnificently uh, by the introduction of the tram. They call it regeneration, don't they? So Who's they? Thing. People. Oh, things, stuff. <laughs> How was your tram experience? It was good, it was, it was good. nice. So what we're gonna do now, because yep. we're so tired, yep. <laughs> we're gonna fade to black. Yes. And then tomorrow when it's daylight, we're gonna fade in. There's two minutes more of the video to go. We're gonna have a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more. We'll see you after the fade out. Fade, fade Will. No, it's Michelle. Fade, fade Michelle. <laughs> it's the next day, hello. Hello. There's a tram about to pass right behind us. Oh, do we need to get that? Uh, you need to watch the video that's in this corner here. Here. To explain how we met a love, the lovely couple, like a comedy musical duo. Yes. Who've written a song about the Croydon tram system. Which is 
brilliant. And they offered to do what? Uh, they offered to write us a Dublin variant, so just for your entertainment. And it involves hand actions. Oh yes, do you want me to teach you? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. May we present the Dublin tram version. Tram, tram, tram. With Jeff and Vicky. I was a spree, 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 a loose, loose, while I had tea. I was a spree, 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 a loose, loose, while I had tea. I love the way the Vicky might get martial. Another tram song will be controversial. Across the lippy in the jiffy, it's a nice jaunt. The rhymes are iffy, but let's get to the point. Let's go from Chiefston to Red Cow and Houston. To say stations on the land line to choose from. Let's go to Leopard Town and Bright's Glen if there's time. To win the Upper Cherry Wood on 3-1. Let's stop at Trinity to read the Book of Hells. And toast to James and Whiskey and Smithfield as well. Let's take a selfie on the Hilton Bridge in Jervis. You know it's been speed. <laughs> Everyone on the tram was like, look at us, like, what the bleep are they doing? <laughs> <laughs>